Hello everyone, I'm Jin, the TCM practitioner and the instructor in Victoria, BC, Canada. Here is my online class for ENT and eye problems for TCM practitioner and the acupuncturist. The book we use I put below here. I hope I can help the students to study and review for the class. Let's start. So middle ear infections, we give a medical word here, otitis media, otitis media. So oritis problem, usually illness name, we follow Western medicine illness name. Even originally, we have TCM, or if it's illness name. But right now, it's not that commonly used. And or if it's problem, they mainly go to like a specialist first. And some illness, they need to go to like specialist checking use specially kind of stuff or machine to check then they make diagnosis so that's why for or if it's problem heal needs name when they will follow western medicine diagnosis so otitis media is a western medicine Unit name and uh, it generally meaning middle year infection. Yeah, middle year infection. So middle year infections, it will be blocking the middle year. When they blocking the middle year. People will feel distension sensation or stiffness sensation inside of the ear. And blocking the sound transferred away, and the patient will be decreased the hearing. And they may cause some tinnitus. So that's basically clinically otitis media or middle ear infection. So otitis media, we're talking about the middle ear infection. So basically, we have four different types. One type is acute. No pulse forming kind of otitis media. And if we have acute one, we will have chronic one. Yeah. So chronic no pulse forming kind of otitis media. And we have another two different kind. It's pulse forming kind of otitis media. They still have acute one, yeah. Acute pulse forming kind of otitis media. And also chronic pulse forming kind of otitis media. So basically, I just put three here. The others, you if you understand these three, you will understand another one. So we're talking about the acute, no pulse forming kind of otitis media first. So no pulse forming kind of otitis media is mainly is like uh, water blocking inside, yeah, blocking in the middle ear. So if something blocking in the middle ear. That's certainly people feel uncomfortable there. Feel some 
visibility in there. And the hearing decrease. And tinnitus. That's the generalized symptom. For TCM affected, yeah, TCM affected, we say we have different reasons to count. External reason, mainly is weak. And the internal reason, some block. So we're talking about external reason first. Yeah, external reason first. Wind cold test. Yeah, wind cold test. So that usually happens acute, yeah, acute. This couple of days, suddenly ear blocking, yeah, deeply. And the dissipation kind of feeling there and the blocking here. And the decrease the hearing. And they let it be hard or decrease the function. They're hearing themselves also. And they could go to the night age, but it's low pitching. So that's the local symptom that we see. Other symptoms, yeah. Other symptoms or pattern symptoms. Similar, like when we talk about internal medicine, common cold, wind cold in Yeti. So we're talking about aversion to cold and the fever at the same time. Yeah, aversion to cold and the fever at the same time. <clears throat> we're talking about the wind cold pattern here. That's more aversion to cold and the slightly fever. And they also have no case study, that to be clear. And the other symptoms also, like a body ache. And the people tired or appetite, that's also. And when they looking for the top, in the book, they, they put a pair of tongues here. So basically, tongue now the changes. Yeah, tongue now the changes. Yeah. And you can, you can change this one to normal tongue. Yeah, normal tongue. It's now the fully like pale tongue. And the white tongue coating, that's the normal coating here. So we say EGI EAT. First two days, they are now the changing for the tongue. But they too late and changing for the pulse. The pulse go to superficial. And the tense means tight. Yeah, tense means tight. Superficial tight pulse. That means EGI in the cold attack. So that's the first part. And the treatment paper basically is similar, like when we talking about uh, internal medicine, when they treat the common cold, uh, wind cold pattern, uh, dispersed wind, and at first cold, and the open the orifice, that's especially for the ear problem. <coughs> And the uh, points, yeah, points, we still could follow the same ruler. We still could follow the same ruler. We say local points, yeah, we say local points, we say distal points. So both just gave us some examples here. Certainly you can put more, yeah, certainly you can put more. And then we have one group, especially for the patterns. Yeah, for the patterns. We say wind cold attacking. 
we go to gallbladder 20, that's the middle point. Uh, I4 and the uh, lung 7, that's the same relief, external passenger. So that's the point. Certainly, we are not necessary to use all the points. This same time, we still have a lot of points in the adding there. So each time, yeah, each time, uh, you can pick up uh, three to five points. If you do both sides, it's about around ten needles there. And we're still talking about the book coming from China. They gave once every day, and certainly they are not necessary to do too many needles there. But if we do like twice a week, or maybe twice a week, surely you can put a little bit more needle there. But uh, for my opinion, generally say, I don't like to put too many needles for the patient for uh, each section for the treatment. Usually I use like uh, around 10 needles. Uh, if I like to try to reach more points, I just do it bilaterally, yeah. like one side LI4. Another side now seven, so something like that. You can use less needles to reach more points. I don't like to use too many needles for one person. Uh, look like uh, you move it everywhere, uh, move it everywhere, and then they don't know what you really want to do. So that's uh, generally for all like uh, regular. Meridian points here. Certainly, certainly, we also can thinking about like a year acupuncture. And uh, even sometimes people like to use scapular acupuncture. If you use the year acupuncture, uh, we could go to like a year, year, uh, year, year, and a year, shenan, and some points. Uh, so that is for the first part. And the second part, we go to wind heat type. Wind heat type, so still locally, just give me the pending sensation in the year. And uh, still decrease the hearing, still decrease the hearing for their hair, their all voice, and uh, still have tinnitus for low frequency or low pitch. Conduction deafening means they transfer the sound from outside to inner ear, function decrease. That means conduction kind of damage. Especially go to sick, yeah. So these problems usually happen in my side of the ear. So that's the local symptom. And generally, yeah, generally, Symptoms. No discharge. And the aversion to cold and the wind is fever same time. So we say wind cold attack is most severe aversion to cold and slightly fever. In the heat attack, it's slightly aversion to cold and high fever. And the other symptoms possible have sore throat and no discharging, usually the tuberous and maybe yellow. 
and <clears throat> we say first two days how not to change it, but after two days how will change it to red color and maybe slightly yellow type body. Usually happens after two days. And the pulse, superficial and rapid. So that's for wind speed type. And all treatment principle, disperse uh, wind, clear heat, and the open the orifice, <coughs> and helping to recover to healing function. So the points, the points, we still have local points. <clears throat> we still have this point. And the first line still go to pattern point. We go to some point to disperse wind, like a couple letter 20, it's wind point. It's good to review external passenger, whatever, wind coat or wind heat. And the long seven, yeah, unlike long seven. And the two fourteen, uh, you never use clear heat. They can clear heat both from externally and internally. So that's the combination we use. <clears throat> and we still can use the air acupuncture. And because it is heat. Condition. Yeah, it is sweet condition. Uh, we can specially go to top of the year. Yeah, top of the year. That's a good point there, clear heat. So that's a two external pattern. Why is wind cold pattern? Why is wind heat pattern? And then we go to internal pattern. We will goblet the share. <laughs> That's the internal heat pattern. Yeah, internal heat pattern. So internal heat pattern usually cause the heat symptom is severe compared with external heat. So that can cause the most severe pain. Yeah, that can cause the most severe pain. That kind of pain the audios they can tell you for the case for the case they couldn't tell you and this problem is very common happens in the case so what happens there they will be quiet they will be quiet nothing can stop yeah because they are very painful there and uh, still lose you some hearing function. So that's generally say local symptom, the local symptom. So other symptoms, yeah, other symptoms. So like, uh, so still we talk about the liver and the goblet affair, like uh, for people, easy emotions, and even sometimes headache, dizziness, vertigo, red eyes, red face, and maybe dark yellow urine, and the constipations, internal heat sets there. At the tongue, it will be red, yeah, internal heat will be changing tongue to red color and the yellow coffee. And the pulse is very, that especially goes to liver gallbladder and also can cause by the pain. And the rapid pulse coming from the heat. So all treatment principles, clear heat and the purging sphere and the benefit or anything.
by the data year. So the points, yeah, the points, we say we still have district points, we still have local points, and the points actually for the pattern. Yeah. Like last year, we use R11, print clear internal feed. And the liver to job ladder 43, clear feed, especially from liver job ladder channel. And that's excessive internal feed. We still can use year points. And remember, bleeding is a good way to relieve internal excessive feed. You can bleed in liver channel. Like liver one, female point of the liver, or maybe you can bleed in some gallbladder channel. Gallbladder 44 is the, the female point of the gallbladder. You also can bleed in, uh, we have a extra point uh, we call er here. On the top of the ear, yeah, yeah, or yeah, or yeah, on the top of the top of the ear. That's a good point. So similar like we talked about apex of the ear here. Yeah, similar we talked about apex of the ear. So we also can clear uh, can believe in that voice to relieve 